It's Spirit Boosting Time. Spirit Boosting Time. Spirit Boosting Time. Spirit Boosting Time. Hey. Grocery prepper spirit boosters. All that's left. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody doing good. Staying safe and being well. Miss Janita's still over here struggling. Oh, <laughs> trying to be 100%. I don't think I'm going to make it. But I'm happy to be still alive and still doing what makes me happy. Mm. Besides being on social media. <laughs> well, welcome back all my subscribers. Look and lose, pass it by. Visitors, trollies. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up and tell me what number you are. Very important to me. Because I want to know did you like the video? Because I can count those likes. A lot of you are doing it and I appreciate it and I really, really appreciate it. And for those of you that just forget, please remember tell me what number you are when you like my video. Leave a good comment or leave a comment. It don't have to necessarily be good. It could just be something you just want to say, share, or mention, whatever. Do so in the comments section. Now, you know Miss Janita do some grocery prepping over here. Just recently just got in. Well, I don't know if I could say recently, but I'm just doing it more often is prepping food by the batch or the bunk so that when I go in the freezer, I'll have enough ready for making meals or for a snack or something. It is convenient. Now I've seen videos where it's just crazy seeing a person on their channel making like a hundred meals that means you got to have several refrigerators in. and never mind a large family because i don't have no large family but we like to eat <laughs> and i have stockpile because in the beginning i got to listening to these preppers talking about the end of the world and the food about to be gone so i panicked and went out there and got me started a stockpile and ever since then it's been awfully welcome over here because it definitely does save you money when you have stuff stocked up. You ain't got to go buy it. You can just go to the pantry or to the shelf and get what you need to make your meal, snack, or brunch, whatever you want to call it. And that is very convenient. And I love that about having a stockpile. Now, as far as some of these other preppers on their channels, they always mention talking about food running out what Walmart doing, what Target doing, what going on over here, what going on over there. And some of them are mentioning it's in their state, but some don't. And this is being watched worldwide on their, their video. And they have people panicking and run out there to get food. And that's not necessarily what's happening in their neighborhood. You understand? Because I got caught up in that stuff. But, yep, I do have some things up here that I want to share with y'all. And it's from several different stores. And is it from several? Wait, some of the stuff I got up here, I didn't put up here from the other store. So, is this just two stores? Let me see. Yeah, this is two stores. Food for Less and Sam's Club. Something might be from Amazon Fresh. And that reminds me, Amazon Fresh, tomorrow, no more spend 35 and get free grocery delivery. It's going to be spend $150 and get free grocery delivery. 
I have never bought $150 worth of groceries from Amazon Fresh because, um, shoot, I'd be like 50, 60, but never to 150 because, hmm, I'd be at the Walmart because I can save a little bit more money at the Walmart. Now, some things Amazon Fresh might have, it costs a little bit more. But at the Walmart, even though their prices are right or, or, or increasing, you can still get some deals. Walmart is the store or the Dollar Tree to go get some cheaper items. Like you can go to Walmart instead of the Dollar Tree and get something under $1.25 because mostly all the food in Dollar Tree is $1.25. And some things you can get from um, Walmart under a dollar steal some things. Because some a lot of stuff has increased in price. No more 99 cent muffins, biscuit mix, all that stuff is up in price. You can go find it at the Dollar Tree, which is a blessing to go and find. You know, you want to stock your pantry up with some muffin cookie, muffin mix, cookie mix, biscuit mix, pancake mix, mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. They got it. And your Dollar Tree has the stuff you need, like a lot of these Dollar Trees I go to, they don't have everything, but they got enough of something. Now, the ones I go to, they don't have no $5 uh, price objects or $3 in my Dollar Trees. Most of that stuff online, if I want something, I got to get it online. But it's very hard because they think uh, everybody needs 500 of them. No, I might need one or two or three. And they say you got to buy at least 12 on up to 30 to 40 items. Please, they need to change that. Everybody is not a school or a teacher and or a project something at an event. You need to buy so much of the stuff. You still should give the customers the, uh, the um, opportunity to get it at as many as they need. At a reasonable thing, cut the shipping it or picking it up at the store, cause that's just ridiculous. Offering something online at the Dollar Tree, where you got to buy at least twenty four of them. Mm -mm. Then when you go to the Dollar Tree, they don't have what you want. It's online, but it's not in the Dollar Tree. Oh, it's just irritating. Uh -huh. Well, let me share with y'all what I got up here. Now this tilapia, we got a few bags of this because. At the food for less, they was on sale for eight nine nine, and uh, we like this fish. Some people don't care for tilapia, tilapia, but we love us some crispy fried tilapia. And at eight ninety nine a bag, we got a few. And uh, uh, in the secret recipes back there, those came from Sam's Club. I got two of those. They were on sale. And I got the hot sauce from, oh, I did. I got the hot sauce for Amazon Fresh. That's our favorite hot sauce. It's good. I got like five bottles, only four sitting up here. And the ketchup I got from, from Dollar Tree, it run out too fast. It's a small bottle, even though it's, what does that say it was? It is a 20 ounce bottle. I'm going to have to give me some of them big ones, even though they went up in price. That's why I got them. They went up on Sam's Club, the ketchup. And y'all remember the serve used to be two of them in a pack. Now they only sell you one. <laughs> and and uh, anyway, back to the ketchup. The ketchup is so small, though. It, it, it runs out fast. I don't know, but I don't know. I might stick with it because the ketchup at the Sam's Club is so expensive now. And I got some more of these, these elbow macaronis. I got two boxes of those, memory mark. They were sold out. Then I kept checking and checking. They finally put some, you know, got it back in stock. Then these farm rich mozzarella sticks. I really don't care for those. Y'all like those? Let me know in the comments. And my husband got some turkey wings. I had to put, I should have did just the other day, but they froze because I put them in there yesterday. And turkey wings up, these 906. He got two packs of turkey wings because I was craving for some turkey wings. That I'm not about to cook too soon. But uh, I might keep them till Easter. Turkey wings and some some white beans or something. And uh, here go the hot links. 
I took them out the box to put room in the freezer. Hot and mild. Hot links. They was on sale. I forgot. I don't know if it was far west. And then I got some of this tuna. It was on the uh, digital coupon at Food for Less for, I think they were 79. It was much cheaper getting them at the Food for Less than getting them at the Sam's Club. Hold up, y'all. Okay, y'all. Miss Janita is still. Well, we eating off this shelf, so it's unorganized, so I got to fix it back up. All the boxes are just out of order, thrown around, down to the floor where I got my sweet potatoes. Did I show y'all my sweet potatoes? I think I showed you guys my sweet potatoes. Anyway, broke out the Reynolds Kitchen slow cooker liners because... You might be having this dish that look just like this for a dinner. That stew looks so good. Stew in the crock pot, slow cooker for dinner. And probably instead of crackers, I would rather have cornbread with this meal. Now this meal right here is a food stretcher, a meal stretcher, cause you got soupy, it's full of vegetables and not so much you don't have to have a lot of meat but you can have a lot of vegetables and a tasty flavorful stew um, sauce I call it the sauce or the gravy that's in it and this can stretch and make a few meals for maybe two days or so so you got a slow cooker and you don't want all the mess get these bags right here this is a great idea meal stretcher stews suits with plenty of flavorful gravy gotta love it but guys this is another part of my grocery haul miss janita don't put everything up here like some people can put tons of food up on there table whatever but you know miss g they don't have a table but that's neither here nor there because i am surviving without one yes 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 we are but i'm gonna get off here because i think i've been on here long enough to tell you my goings on what's happening in my era and more ain't there's plenty of food over here the prices are going up and there's no shortage of meat that I can tell or any other thing that we might need to cook with. So the suppliers are being delivered over in this area. Now I'm in Southern California. So food ain't the issue, the price is. <laughs> now we all get to hear about these other preppers, what they doing on their channel. They probably might not mention that that stuff is only going in the area like ohio with the water and stuff that's awful what happened over there but hope they get the help they need but like for real they need the money to rent something out because like i say everybody ain't able to just stay in a motel or hotel until things are fixed up and i guess a few of them people gonna get paid because they got sick when they fall chemicals got all soaked in the ground poison contaminated the soil that they probably was planting their vegetables took away their livelihood somebody gonna be broke the company that owned that stuff allegedly i guess <laughs> but that's what i'm hearing on social media headline then they say um it's white powdery stuff coming out the air. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's the after effects of the explosion and the debris is coming down and that's not even good for nobody still as the wind carries it yonder, destroying and contaminating something else allegedly. But if y'all heard about that, say so in the comments. Anyway, I'm off of here, just coming through, share some groceries. Did I say, okay, 
the sizes, I don't know if y'all are interested, but six ounce, the, to, um, the hot sauce, and you see how many, this is a, a 12 ounce box of the secret recipe. When you order online, they make you um, have to get two or something, and in the store you can get what you want, but online you gotta get more. All right, y'all, and uh, what is it? Six bags of the elbow macaroni. Now, like I said, I got two boxes because I like my elbow macaroni, make chili mac, make salad, or any other dish I'm gonna create. Did I share with y'all my sour cream business? Okay, anyway, let me get this uh, up so y'all can watch. Thank you guys for coming through as usual. Um, happy Spirit Booster. Bye for now. It's Spirit Boosting Time. Spirit Boosting Time. Spirit.